Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 01 December, last month of the year. The final countdown. Here we are. Tricky, tricky session yesterday. Um, Euro went down to 20. Equities went down to 35.92, and now we're back at 36.53. Very, very tricky. Um, take a look at these stocks. Get this all-time high here up at seven. Said it's the all-time high. Yeah, all-time high up at uh, 68. Are we gonna achieve that today? I don't know. It looks like she kind of put on a little turn bar here, middle of Asia last night. It's 4 a.m. Swiss time. Um, reminds me of this bar here. We'll have to see how she looks today, how she goes. We were short. Yesterday we sold um, in the 20s. We bought all fives and we sold the vaccine news up in the 30s and then we sold all fives again on the way down and we were trading in you know we had a pretty tidy average in, in ES uh, all for naught um, so now we have to sort of rethink this and see where we're going to go on this I guess the question today is are we going to make an all time high we're 15 handles away half a percent away um not sure. Not sure. I don't think so, but maybe. Definitely could happen. Um, but you got to clear the decks on ES right now um, and take a look at what happens. What's going to happen in the European Open? We had some very strong data out of China last night. Um, the Caxon PMI was a ripper. Anyway, let's look at Euro. Um, here's our daily through the death knock yesterday all the way to 119.20 right after the fix buy the rumor sell the fact on the fix people got very very short dollars closed at the lows 23 now we're back at 56 which makes it even more tricky you can try shorts back through 23 if you're still long because of this trend line um, break and you your stop was below 20 um, you got lucky death knock was around 38 um, if you're long you can stay long uh, but now everyone's gonna have 20 as a cut point so there's there's money to be made around 20 I think cable we're still waiting for 134 the figure I think 13397 is gonna be the bingo on this it's going to be some idiotic news from one of these blowhards, uh, political fellas, about Brexit. You have to be concerned about slippage here. You have to be concerned about a lot of things. Um, as we said yesterday, really hard to um, stay long, sterling. Prefix, we traded 83, back down to 18 back up to 60 back down to 17 here we are at 65 uh, if I were to ask you how do you like them apples that would apply to this this kind of messiness basically we've been 80 10 now one two three four five six seven eight times what that does mean though is when this gets resolved either let's say one through 132.80 or 134 the figure it'll have some more energy the longer it starts ramming around in this range the more energy it'll have when it breaks dollar swiss held up because euro swiss ramped yesterday uh, at the fix so dollar swiss sort of held up not doing much dollar yen squeezing shorts mercilessly um, not sure what to do with dollar yen really not sure I really thought we were gonna break 10370 yesterday but we did not Let's look at this uh, euro yen yesterday there was some euro yen business to do at the fix now we have printed our third high up here this isn't this is 
this is not a bad um, point technically now 125.15 printed a turn bar yesterday big long tail closed down at the lows of 40 um, you know if euro if euro dollar goes back down through 20 this turns uh, this will go back down through 30 but more interestingly I think is and nobody I don't think has this no one's really trading euro yen these days but um, up through 125.15 will be sort of one of these sort of I wouldn't say shock the world levels but you know sort of a shocking level for people so when it's shocking we want to be paying attention 125.15 dollars are been talking about the turn for a while pretty bullish bar yesterday um, if you have your little dollars are on your little core longs just sit with this didn't make a whole lot of sense what was happening yesterday <clears throat> traded up to 50 um, now we've traded back down to 37 core long this I think um, but if equities keep ramping dollars are is not gonna um, make make a big move to the upside there's some political bullshit going on over there uh, confidence votes and whatever but that's pretty standard it's like a standard thing back when Zuma was zooming around uh, felt like there was a confidence vote every every other day um, but don't pretend to understand the politics there um, there are other outlets who, who know better than I do but we like core long dollars are same with um, dollar max we got OPEC pecking around today don't think this is going to get below 2002 went all the way up to 2021 after we broke 2011 now we're back there should be support here uh, between 2005 and 2010 obviously in Europe the liquidity is way worse the spreads are worse it's a little bit harder to trade dollar max um, but we like this to turn especially if oil goes lower we'll take a look at oil a little bit later Fuzzy, bearish, engulfed at the highs. Um, it's been 360 point move from the lows here, uh, mid October or since the beginning of November. Kind of double topped that. 74.14. Uh, 01 SEP. This was 74.08 confirmation is if we get down through 40 uh, we do like short Aussie Euro Aussie nobody's playing Aussie yen we're trying to be short but it's not really I haven't lost any money but I haven't really made any money trading this on the short side um, I guess we'll get sort of confirmation of one way or the other 76.50 or 77.11 dollar cad turned big turn bar there Jesus if OPEC does something silly today and we see crude through say 44.50 this might um, this might become interesting the top of this bar is 60 points away so we're not gonna we're not gonna start doing the chicken dance here but uh, man that looks like a turn bar doesn't it need to wait for confirmation be patient people 130.11 keep an eye on it gold speaking of turn bars didn't quite turn this is the, exactly the $200 point 17.67 there's going to be a lot of resting bids at 1750 uh, tricky here because a new higher high runs right into the 200 day which is resistance I suggest fishing for low ones in uh, in gold so maybe uh, stick some bids in 1784 1781 uh, try and get long some gold and then finally ZB 
this is the new contract. It's not really doing too much. Uh, we sold 175.10s yesterday, and we're just playing on the short side. Obviously, if you're going to trade this technically, you want to trade it from the yield side. Is this going to break 150 again? It'll break a lot of hearts, actually. Um, but we're still fishing for higher uh, yields here. So any move down towards 150 in yield, uh, you want to sell ZB. This is where we stand on that one. Anyway, I think I've said enough today. The calendar is, is pretty weak. We've got Munchen and Powell speaking. Um, we'll have to see. I, I can't see anything interesting from those Muppets. Uh, and then we have some <coughs> manufacturing PMIs out of Europe, I believe. Not really too, too interesting. Focus on the stock market. Focus on your sort of risk on, risk off. And let's keep an eye on whether these turn bars really turned. Has Aussie turned? Has Dollar CAD turned? We need confirmation on this. Um, that Euro Yen top side, we got to keep an eye on that. And for the Euro Dollar uptrend, 20 needs to hold. 119.20 needs to hold. Remember, ECB is next week. They're probably going to increase QE. Um, so that'll have an effect on the currency. But that's um, that's over a week away. We'll we'll get more into that as as, as this week ends in the beginning of next week. But one nineteen twenty uh, is lying in the sand now. Euro dollar said enough. Good luck out there, people. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.